Lucy Stone was born in 1818 in West Brookfield, Massachusetts. Sadly, her father used to spend the family's money on alcohol. When she saw her mother suffer, she began to question why men were in charge. At 16, she began teaching school. She demanded a raise when she found out she was making less money than one of the male teachers. After nine years, Lucy had saved enough to go to Oberlin College, the only college in the country that would admit women at the time. Women weren't allowed to be in the school's debating society, so she started a women's debating society that met secretly in the woods at night. In 1847, she became the first woman from Massachusetts to graduate from college. Lucy thought that slavery was wrong. After college, she began working as an organizer for William Lloyd Garrison's Anti-Slavery Society. Garrison published an anti-slavery newspaper called The Liberator. She traveled around giving speeches, even though many people were upset that a woman was speaking at all, especially on such a controversial topic. People threw rotten eggs and other things at her, but Lucy refused to be silenced. Lucy thought that women and slaves had a lot in common. Both were forced to work for others instead of living up to their potential. Both were told they were stupid and beaten when they disobeyed. Neither could vote or own property. Many people in the anti-slavery movement, including Garrison, thought that she talked too much about women's rights during her speeches against slavery. She left the group so that she would be more free to fight for women's rights. Throughout her life, Lucy stood up against what society thought women should do. She even wore bloomers or loose pants under a knee-length skirt. People were so shocked by this that they would yell and point her out wherever she went. She finally stopped wearing them after a few years because they distracted people from what she was saying. Lucy organized the first National Women's Rights Conference in Worcester, Massachusetts in 1850. She became well known as a feminist. When she married Henry Blackwell, she was the first American woman in recorded history to keep her maiden name. When their daughter was born, they gave her both last names, Alice Stone Blackwell. During the Civil War, Lucy continued working to end slavery. She helped to found the Women's National Loyal League in 1863, which lobbied President Lincoln and the Union States to pass the 13th Amendment to end slavery. After slavery was ended, Lucy worked for women's rights for the rest of her life. She fought for a women's right to vote, a right that was not won until after her death. She founded the Women's Journal, in which she wrote about how women could take action to win their rights. She died in 1893, but her daughter Alice helped win the right to vote in 1920. Lucy's last words were, make the world better. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine.